Hello everyone, another beautiful day here in Sunny Side West Massachusetts. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. It is, of course, Sunday, July 27, 2014. And, of course, if it sounds like I'm slurring my words, it's because I am. Uh, I'm a little dehydrated, so i got to drink some water. <laughs> but anyways, really what I want to talk to you today about is what's going on in the economy. And what are some of the solutions? Now, we sit around and we talk about all the negative stuff that's going on in the economy. We talk about the criminality that's ongoing in Wall Street and in Washington, D.C. And, of course, there are other changes that are occurring as well that has really very little to do with uh, what's, going down, what's going on uh, in Washington and in Wall Street. And that's this ever-increasing reliance on technology on, and on the Internet. Now, a lot of people are trying to look for uh, some sort of uh, way to save money. Uh, they want to buy the same products that they've been using before, but they, they're trying to save money. You know what I mean? We're all trying to save money. So... What is it, what's going on out there that's preventing some of us to save money? Well, we have food prices at an all-time high. It's very, very expensive to go out and buy food now. <laughs> very expensive. I buy for myself, and I spend sometimes 50 bucks a week for myself. Just myself. I don't have kids. I don't have a wife. Uh, anyways, what, what else is going on out there? You have uh, over 101 million Americans who are on some sort of assistance from the government. You have uh, over almost 50 million people on food stamps. You have almost 30% unemployment rate all throughout the country. Your countrymen are unemployed. You can't find a job right now because of the criminality in Washington, D.C., and so on and so forth. But you do also have technology that's replacing a lot of, a lot of the jobs. And of course, many of these corporations, they don't have, they no longer have any allegiance to their workers. The workers themselves just become commodities. Now, I just been thinking about this a lot lately because I realize that in in my job, I work in manufacturing, as some of you may or may not know. And sometimes we have uh, required overtime. It's not a choice. It's not do we want to do it or don't we want to do it. Uh, they'll come to you and say, you have to work on a Saturday. We work Monday through Friday. They'll come to you on a Friday and say, you're required to be here on Saturday. And of course, you don't. if, if you don't want to be there, if you're, if you're like, no, you know, I can't do Saturday. There's such such thing that I'm dealing, I have to deal with. Whatever the case may be, they, of course, can, in return, uh, eliminate you. Eliminate you and bring someone else in. I'm, I'm a temporary employee. I'm a contract employee. So it's very easy to get rid of me. <laughs> it's very easy to get rid of me. Uh, so I can't, I don't have a choice. I have to work on the required overtimes. And I have to work whenever they tell me to work. Even if I don't want to. And even if it's posed as some sort of option. Because if I choose not to work when they're, when they're asking me to work, I could just as easily get fired. And where am I going with this? Well, where I'm going with this is whenever a company hires somebody now, because of the way the economy is, you can't just quit a position and expect to find another job right next door. The economy just doesn't run like that anymore because of the depression we're in. So whenever a comp company right now hires people, full-time, part-time, whatever, that person, that employee, essentially is owned by the company. The company buys your body, is what I'm saying. Your, your body is owed to the company. I mean, you trade time with work, or you trade time with money, whenever, for every hour that you're working. Uh, but in, in essence, it's that, and it's also that the company actually owns your physical body. You know, if they can require you to work overtime, and I'm just using it as an example, I'm not complaining, uh, because it is something I signed up for. But if they can require you to work overtime, well, they, they're requiring your body to be there a specific day. Your, your body is just an object to the beast system that we're uh, involved in right now. 
and that's very, very important. Our physical bodies are owned by the elite. Or at least the elite believe that. Of course, it's not true. Because the the amount of derivatives that are out there is just fraud. It's all fraud. It's debt that can be written off. It's debt that can be written off. We don't own it. What's happened is the big central banks came out and uh, got into as much debt as they possibly can and simply just signed us on to it. The, the foreign uh, central banks, uh, the Federal Reserve, they're private. They're not government. They're private. They issue, they issue our currency as of right now because Congress won't do it, even though by law they have to do it. So these corporations, these companies, acquired our bodies through fraud. These companies own us through fraud. We're slaves through fraud. You see where I'm getting uh, with this? But that's also ending, too. Because these corporations, companies also depend on the same system that they enslave us in. Yeah, you see where I'm going? So eventually they, they themselves are going to become bankrupt. So what is going to replace this system? Well, I'm going to tell you what will replace this system. It's going to be the new economy. There's going to be a new economy. Uh, more and more people are going to have to be dependent on the internet. Because as I said before... It's becoming more and more expensive to own a brick and mortar store or to hire employees. It's just very, very expensive to own any type of business here in America, specifically the red tape with all the red tape that's going on. So, you know, uh, and the licenses that people have to take and, and stuff to, to be able to even function in the current economic system. Now, we're, I mean, where am I going with this in the final equation? Well, the new economy is through the Internet. The Internet is the new economy. It's as free of a system as you're going to get as what this country had promised uh, when we were little kids and when our, uh, our parents were little kids and when our grandparents were little kids. So the Internet is the new economy. It's just simply put. Uh, of course, uh, they're trying to end that with uh, the CISPA Act. But that's not, I mean, is that really going to work? Is that really going to work when you have uh, major uh, cash flowing through uh, the Internet every single day and companies like Mozilla saying, no, we're not going along with the CISPA bill. And, you know, in, in order for that uh, bill to be successfully implemented, companies like Mozilla and Microsoft are going to have to comply with it. And they're refusing. So it's just a little food for thought. I mean, look, I mean, are you going to work 40, 45 years of your life and uh, and have that company own your body, physically own your body? Because when they hire you, they bought your body. They don't care about you. They don't care about your soul. They own your body. So, of course, there's this... So food for thought. Hope you guys uh, enjoy what I have to say and uh, take care. God bless. See you guys. See you guys sometime soon. Bye.